Government attacks INEC facility in Enugun, leaving one policeman dead. Shall we addresses his alleged refusal to publicly condemn IPOB? Erasmus strangles and sets to love our place. Government have attacked the office of the Independent National Electoral Commission in the Enugu South local government area of Enugu State. The National Commissioner and Chairman Information Voter Education Committee of INEC Festival Okoye stated this in a statement on Monday. According to data released by INEC on December 16, 2022, 50 attacks have been so far recorded on its facilities across 15 states in the last four years, with Imo State topping the list with 11 incidents. The statement noted that the latest incident, which occurred on Sunday, was repaired by police and the army. The attackers who destroyed the security gatehouse left a policeman dead and another injured. They, however, could not gain access to the main building. The commission assured that the election would take place in Enugu despite the incident. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, says it's not enough for anyone to condemn the activities of agitators in the country, but also look at what led to the agitations. Obi, while speaking at the Chatham House on Monday, January 16, 2023, said he has condemned the activities of all agitators who are killing and destroying properties in the country to press on their demands. Obi said this while responding to a question on his alleged refusal to condemn the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB in the Southeast. In 2017, the federal government proscribed IPOB and in mid-2022, the government of the United Kingdom accepted Nigeria's classification of IPOB as a terrorist organization. Many Nigerians believe Obi shies away from speaking against the proscribed group whose main reason for agitation is to achieve the separation of the Southeast from Nigeria. This belief was seemingly strengthened on Sunday, January 15, 2023, when the presidential candidates listed ISWAP and Boko Haram as terrorist groups and omitted IPOB from the list. However, Obi maintained that he has always condemned all agitators, including IPOB, which has on several occasions been accused of killing and destroying properties in the southern eastern part of the country. A Middle Asian man identified as Baby Fazers died in a fire incident in his house in the Oibo local government area of River State. The body of his yet-to-be-identified lover was also recovered from the house. It was gathered that Babyface invited his lover to his house at Konkom, a densely populated area in Oigo, on the outskirts of Portacot at the weekend when the incident occurred. It so said that the man later interrogated his girlfriend over an alleged affair he had with another man, which led to an argument between the lovers. The eyewitness who spoke on condition of anonymity said Babyface later strangled the woman. The source said after killing the girl, he set his apartment ablaze as a way to cover his track, but was also caught up in the inferno. He was born to death with the girl's corpse in the house. He said the incident caused panic in the neighborhood as residents decided the area for fear of being arrested by the police. The spokesperson for the police in the state's grace, a superintendent of police, however, said it was a fire incident. The girl died and the man was taken to a hospital where he was receiving treatment but later died. The police have launched an investigation into the incident to find out what really happened. Here are the headlines again. Gunmen attacks INEC facility in Enugu, leaving one policeman dead. Peter Obey addresses his alleged refusal to publicly condemn IPOB. Rivers man strangles and sets lover ablaze. Thank you for staying tuned. I am Odeli Kimofi, follower.